Hi, I'm Brian Barnett, Mayor of the City of Rochester Hills, and as always, thanks for watching. You know, March is an important month in our nation because we celebrate the impact that women have had in all aspects of American life. And we make that celebration more local here this month by celebrating the women who've had an impact on our community's history. And it's interesting, you may or may not know this, but women have had an incredible and formidable impact from our very first days. Our real founding mothers of this community are people like Sarah and Bertha Van Heusen, who, who really formed so much of our community in its early start. And throughout this, uh, this city and this region's history, women like Matilda Dodge Wilson and, and others have played a formidable role in creating the community that we love. And today, from, from women running uh, as mayors of this community to leading our hospitals in the past, our, our senior centers, our library, and so many important institutions to, to women leading in this nation, uh, uh, celebrities and, and, and leaders in industry like Madonna and Jenna Kramer, to, to, to NASA astronauts like, like Fiona Turret, women from this community have had a tremendous impact, not just here locally, but around the world. So we're going to tell their stories here this month and celebrate the impact of women in the Rochester Hills community. Take a look. Born March 26, 1863, Bertha Van Hoosen was the youngest daughter of Stony Creek Village pioneers Sarah Taylor and Joshua Van Hoosen. Bertha's early education was acquired at the village's one-room schoolhouse and Pontiac High School. After following her older sister to the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor, Bertha became intrigued with female acquaintances enrolled at the university's medical school. Bertha defied her parents and society at large by choosing to pursue a career in medicine. She financed her medical education by selling scales to farmers' wives, teaching calisthenics at an all-girls school in St. Louis, and working in a foundling hospital in Detroit. In 1892, Dr. Van Hoosen settled in Chicago and began a 58-year career in obstetrics, gynecology, and surgery. She found her first patients among the poverty-ravaged immigrants in Chicago's tenements. As her skill and reputation grew, middle and upper-class women sought her help with difficult births and gynecological anomalies. Faced with discrimination because of her sex, Bertha sought companionship and professional support from the city's other women doctors. She mentored young female surgeons and traveled to surrounding cities when a woman physician needed to refer a patient to a surgeon. Bertha became the founder and first president of the American Medical Women's Association in 1915. Today, the association continues to promote women's rights and opportunities and provide educational programs and scholarships. Her career's many firsts include the development of scopolamine morphine, or twilight sleep, as an early anesthetic used in childbirth. Bertha was an early advocate of the importance of the sterilization of medical equipment to prevent infection and pioneered the buttonhole appendectomy surgical technique. Bertha was the first woman invited to read a paper at the International Congress of Medicine in Budapest, Hungary in 1909. In 1913, she became the first woman appointed under civil service to Cook County Hospital, and Bertha was the first female head of a medical school division at the Coeducational University, Loyola, from 1918 to 1938. Dr. Van Hoosen was named honorary member of the International Association of Medical Women, a recognition shared only with Mary Curie of France. Believing that she had a responsibility to the generations of women after her, Bertha published her autobiography in 1947 to aid the American girl in selecting a vocation. It became an international bestseller. Bertha retired to Stony Creek, Michigan in 1951 and died June 7, 1952.